Hello there from a very wet day at Park Warner Madrid. It's me and Becca today. It is. Good to be back. Yeah. Yeah. It's been a while. Ah, it's 2017 for you. Yep. Yeah, and you couldn't, Too long. Yeah, and you couldn't go on any rides then either. No. No. <laughs> we had a baby on the way then. We did. We just still need to bring him here at some point. We do. <laughs> so it's December. We're not expecting many crowds, but we may be wrong. It's a Friday in December. It's a bit of a random one actually. Yeah. Just a we bought it in January, it was dirt cheap. We thought, why not? So here we are. Little background on Park Warner. It's called Park Warner Madrid. It's nowhere near Madrid. <laughs> <laughs> it's about an hour away at least, isn't yeah. it, from Madrid. Um Park originally opened in 2002. Six Flags had a big hand in that. So they were a big part of this park opening. They then sold it on and it's now owned by Park Reunudos, I think Reunudos, it is. Reunudos. Reunudos, yeah. Uh, still got all the Warner Brothers theming, which is one of the reasons why I came here originally, because being a big Superman and Batman fan, I wanted to see all the theming and all that. This is my 10th year of visiting, your ninth year or something yeah. like that. Yeah. So yeah, we're going to do like a walk around all the rides, show you the park. We're, we're going to vlog on the GoPro, but we're going to do all the off-ride shots on the big camera when the, the weather's due to be better tomorrow, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, so. we're not due to have rain. It is meant to rain all day today. Yeah. But that won't put us off. So. Absolutely not. The rain in Spain is not a pain for us <laughs> because it means the queues will probably be quiet. Yes. Yeah, so here there's two B&Ms. There's a flawless coaster. There's an invert. There's Europe's only Vacoma giant inverted boomerang. The wooden roller coaster, Coaster Express, they were all built for 2002. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Less said about Coaster Express, the better usually. Yeah. And there, there was a kids coaster built in 2009, but there's actually not been any coasters since until next year. Yes. And we are going to do an in-depth look at that on the channel, whether that'll be in this video or a separate video, we'll, we'll decide. We'll find out, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, should we go? I think we should. Let's do it. Yeah. In the intro of the video, I only introed five of the roller coasters here. There is a sixth, and that is the Tom and Jerry coaster behind me. It does say on the queue time boards that it's closed due to climate, but obviously because of the weather, but it is actually open. But a cred's a cred, and there's six of them here. real bravo yeah i'm not too disappointed <laughs> no as good as it is today's not the day yeah so uh rio bravo is basically like an outdoor version of valhalla blackpool pleasure beach it's actually got valhalla's old boats on it or it did at one point i believe that's never actually been confirmed but that's what i've read and heard about that's pretty much what everyone's ever said yeah so. and they do look like valhalla's old boats yeah. but yeah it's actually a really good ride but not in December. No. 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 So it's actually El Refugo de Papa Noel. So it's obviously going to be something to do with Santa Claus. Gonna go and see Santa? We might be a little bit old for that. Yeah. Should we go on some roller coasters then? You've got two choices, Santa or Coaster Express. <laughs> Can I ask Santa to deal with Coaster Express? <laughs> <laughs> so the first roller coaster of this trip is going to be Coaster Express, which I actually think is a really good name for a wooden roller coaster in a Wild West themed area. However, here's some statistics about this ride. Of course, it opened in 2002, and it was built by the Roller Coaster Corporation of America. They did build a couple of wooden roller coasters, all of which are not very good. We always give this a bit of a kick in whenever we come here. However, I do think this year we have been on some worse wooden roller coasters than this one. Most notably Bandit at Movie Park Germany, which just so happens to have been built by the same company as this. So yeah, let's see how it goes when it's not as warm and a bit damp.
We've just walked straight on to Coast Express. No worries about queues today by the looks of it. Straight into the air gate, straight on it. So the ride experience, we were uh, giving it a bit of a panning, weren't we? Yep. On and off camera before we went on. <laughs> so how was it? Weirdly much better. Yeah, it was. I mean, it's not a great ride. We're not going that far, but it's much improved. That retracking work it's had over the last couple of years has made such a difference. Yes. You can tell parts of it haven't been done. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. Um, but, like, the first drop doesn't try to rattle your head off anymore. No. So, much improved. I'm still not sure I'll do it later on. No, 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 no. But... The way I'm looking at it is we've been on it once now. We've braved yeah, it. It was fine. Let's let's leave, leave it, it at that. And then we'll come back on it next year. Yeah. And we're going to do a, a guide on this channel over the next couple of weeks. It'll probably be sometime early next year, won't yeah. it? We're going to... Obviously, there's going to be a lot of interest in this part next year with the new roller coaster, which you can briefly see behind us. There's going to be a lot of interest in this park and we're going to talk a lot about our tips for getting here, aren't we? And where yeah. to stay and your transport links. That will be a separate video. We've been coming for that long now, I think. Yes. We, we've kind of experienced it all. We've done it right, we've done it wrong. Yes. We've stayed different places, we've done the different transport, so... Yeah. We do actually know what we're talking about on this one. For a change. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Coast Express, better than I remember, but still, get RMC on the phone. Yeah. Next up is going to be Batman, the B&M invert here. It was actually the first of the Batman invert clones that I did. It's uh, now one of four that I've done. I've done three over in America, all in Six Flags parks. And I can't really say where this one ranks against those until I do it in a minute, because I can't really remember much of it. Other than it's always very intense. Now, on that subject, let's bring Becker in. That's why you're not doing it, isn't it? Absolutely not. Yeah. I'm not a fan of it anyway, but I can't risk ending up too sore or anything, so yeah. I'm, I'm sitting this one out. Yeah, so it's just going to be me doing it. I think the first time you went on this, you were seeing stars quite quickly after it, if I remember well, rightly. I think the first time we did it, we did about five goals back to back, and then, yeah, it didn't change my mind on it. I didn't like it. No. <laughs> no, to be fair, Beck is not a big fan of inverts in general, no, are you? Being no. inverts, so third of the film wrestle sees i bird <laughs> no there's no reason to be underneath the trap thank you i think, <laughs> I think i'll so uh in the years gone by like becca was saying we did five in a row that was without queuing as well that yeah, really this was, was on the back row yeah because uh when we first came to this park it was always so quiet that they just used to let you stay on all the coasters for as long as you wanted so whether it was one go, 10 goes, 20 goes, if there was no queue, you just got to stay on it. So yeah. we used to lap stuff like Batman. I remember the first time we all did it, we were all seeing stars after a couple of laps. But yeah, it's a very intense coaster, like most B&M inverts are. So I'm gonna go and do it now, and I'll, uh, I'll do a comparison. One thing I will say, actually, before I go on it, is there is very little opportunity for photos and video of this coaster. So I'm gonna just turn the camera around a sec. Behind there, you just about make out the vertical loop and then you've got the zero G roll and then the rest of it's over there. So it's uh, it's not an easy one to film or take photos of, but there did used to be a walkway, didn't there? Yeah, Where I do miss could... it. They put a big board up on there. Walk over and we'll yeah. have a look. So you used to go through a bit of a tunnel. Yeah. It was all covered in ivy and everything. It was proper on Poison brand. ivy feel exactly. to it. You used to be able to go around and you got a great view of all of Superman as well. Which was here. Yeah. So you used to be able to walk underneath this, took you right underneath the vertical loop, and then, like Becca says, incredible views of both the Batman coaster and the Superman coaster. Yes. It's a shame they've shut that off, but... It is. I don't know why. We've got, obviously, we're never going to find out, but it is a shame. Yes. walk on and I really do mean walk on it was walk up the queue straight through the air gates into the front row and off it went 
and it was as excellent as I remember. It's still a really good B&M invert. I really can't compare it against the others. I think the original Six Flags Great America is probably the best one as far as Batman clones go, but after that, it's really hard to separate them. So now we're in the Superman shop, which for me is dangerous because it usually means I'm going to spend a lot of money. So I'll have a walk around and uh, look at the merch. Then after a Superman hoodie, all tripping, and we find one for our son. Yeah. <laughs> Typical, isn't it? Yeah. We're gonna have to not let him find out about this. Yeah. <laughs> so there's plenty of Wonder Woman stuff, which, to be fair, they probably wouldn't have done a couple of years ago before the films came out. Oh, it was usually I just remember, remember it was about it was, a, it was basically like this here. Yeah. That was all there was. But what do you think about those films? The Wonder Woman ones that have been out in the last couple of years. First it's, one's brilliant. Yeah. Second one, she was brilliant. Film was naff. Yes. Yeah. And what about her appearances in the Justice League films? Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and that is good. why there is such a big area of this now. Superman hoodie. Yes. Yeah. See, take note, Six Flags, they didn't sell them Superman hats. Yeah, I've got a feeling we're going home with at least one of those. We're going to need a bigger bag for the plane. Yeah. We've got the Park Warner anniversary top as well. Of course, it is its 20th season. How we've not mentioned that yet, I don't know, Becca. Yeah. Superman one top for, me. for Becca. Yeah. Superman mugs. Yes, there is one of them in our house. <laughs> I think there's two of those, you know. Two of them. I think he's ended up with two. Yeah, they're not mine. There's two Batman yeah. ones, yeah. Definitely not Collecting mine. Collecting them. No, Charlie <laughs> wouldn't let us. No, I have got one from when uh, I was a child, though. Yeah, and Charlie's taken that as well. He has. Got Superman cushions. And we've got Superman t-shirt with the different logos. More mugs. Justice League jumper. Now we've got big Superman soft toys. Not sure about this style, to be honest. Maybe one for Becca, that. Oh, yes, Superman hoodies. Might be coming home with one of these. Well, I have been saying for the last, like, how long that I need a Superman hoodie. Yes. Standard Superman t shirt, Superman water bottles, Superman sandals. Ooh, Not for me. No. Don't do sandals. And what else have we got? Superman glass. More part work, Warner. 20 years merch there. Those. The little de decorative Christmas yeah. Justice League is amazing. The shot's a dangerous one. You're right, eh? Yeah, I'm stuck. It's fine. <laughs> I'm fine. And, and over here is snacks. snacks and the best Superman ever. Yeah. Would you say so? Yeah. 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 Definitely. It feels wrong for anyone else to ever have been Superman now. I know he, he, just... he is the Superman, yeah. isn't he? Christopher Reeve, though, it was Ace back yes. in the eighties, but but Caval. Caval, best one. Yeah. Easily. They need to bring him back. They do. Properly. Yes. And soon. Yes, soon. Get on with it. <laughs> and we have snacks. Now these, when you come to this part next year for Gotham City Escape, these are just cheese. Yeah. As Becca found out yesterday. Disappointed, i got to say. <laughs> <laughs> Bit too cheesy. Well, they're just normal cheesy ones that we'd get at home, but they put a different name on it. So I was expecting, you know, something different. <laughs> Boring. We got a bit of popcorn, bit of Lay's, bit of Pringles, Mentos, and also, if you're a Superman fan, you'll like this. How cool is that? I've always liked that. It's just such a 
just a perfect think, addition, isn't it? Yeah, this is actually better theme than any of the Superman shops in Six Flags Parks. Oh, jeez. It's, uh, They're slacking a bit, aren't they? Yeah, they should all be like this. Yeah. What have we got here? Superman and da Dark Side. We've looked at the Superman merch. Yes. Should we go on the Superman coaster? Yes. Best coaster here. Let's go. So we are now in the Daily Planet, which is the entrance to the Superman queue line. Amazing, isn't it? It is. Yeah. I mean, just because it's 1920s themed, the main thing, it's proper Art Deco in here, but yeah. it's very fitting as well. Yeah. So I believe the next bit you go through the offices, yeah. the Daily Planet, and it's just very, very well done. Yeah, agreed. I'm fairly sure, I'm not 100% certain, but I'm fairly sure that this is basically themed on the 1980s uh, films with Christopher Reeve's Superman. It's very much that style of it, I think. It could even be from the uh, the 1990s, the TV programme, Dean Kane, Terry Hatcher. Anyone remember that? I do. Watched all four series of it recently again. It's just epic TV that was in the 90s. So we're now in the Daily Planet offices and this is just amazingly done, especially if you are a Superman fan like me. Should mention as well about this roller coaster that it is a B&M flawless roller coaster. It's one of Becca's favorite in Europe, I believe. Yes. I'm uh, watching the floor as well because it's a bit slippy. It's uh, on one train, but once again, it, it looks like there is just no queue whatsoever. We'll try and get the front row. Obviously we can't film on it, but we'll, uh, let you know how it goes once we've been on. Well, we found Superman. Funnily enough, right next to his roller coaster. Which ah. is super. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you might say that, you know. It's rather good, isn't it? It is so good. That is the best coaster I've been on in a while. Yeah. I know I've been on it before, but yeah. I haven't done anything of that standard in too long. Yeah, I, I, when we were flying here yesterday, I was like, I hope you still like the yeah. Superman coaster. I was I, dreading it of gotten rough or yeah. something. I mean, um, it. It's definitely got a bit of a bump to it, but I don't think it's rough. It's just, it's no. very intense. It, do you know what it reminds me of? It's like a smoother version now of Dragon Khan. It's like, Dragon Khan's aged quite badly, I think, but yeah. that hasn't. It Really smooth still. It's very intense though. Yeah. Really is intense, but it is such a good coaster. But the airtime on it's just different. I yeah. don't know how to explain it, but it's not, it's not a jetter airtime, but it's Gentle. not quite floaty airtime either. It's a bit in between. Yeah. So it's just so good. It is really good. And the good thing is as well, we walk straight on it. Yes. Straight to the front row. And if you come here in the summer, you, you don't get front row on these no. coasters very often. It's so difficult. To have done front row on Superman and Batman, and it's not even like, we've not even been here two hours yet. No. So it's looking like it's gonna be a good day. Yeah. So we're, uh, we're gonna have a bit of a walk around now. The next coaster we'll come to is Stuntfall. But we're not sure what exactly we're going to do next in the video because we're just going no. kind to of have a bit of a wander, aren't we? Yeah. So uh, we'll see where it goes from here, really. Yeah. What does Superman think? Must be kryptonite in the area. It's a bit quiet at the minute. up then is going to be Stuntfall, the Vekoma giant inverted boomerang. Yes. Looking forward to it. Yeah, it's yeah. good. I like these. Yeah. It's a bit raucous this though, isn't it? It is, but it's not rough or too much. It's just, it's got a lot of personality. Yeah, it has. 
here we go then stump full just like everything else looks like it's going to be walk on usually in the busier times at part warner this is one of the coasters that you can expect to queue for of course with it being a shuttle coaster it does only have one train and it does have a lot of technical issues usually i think this is the first time becca we've actually got on it on the first attempt we're not on it yet <laughs> we've been this far before fair point actually we're probably not going to go on it now are we we better add it's your <laughs> fault if we don't <laughs> It was actually shut the first time I came here in 2012. I was gutted. There was all rumours about it being removed. Came back the following year and it was open, so happy days. Well, here we are, straight on again. There we go then. Stunt fall dealt with. It is. Very How was good. It? <laughs> yeah, it was smoother than I remember. I'm not sure if we've just done a lot of bad coasters lately, but I seem to remember that having a bit of a rattle and there was none of that, so very good. Normally around the Cobra Roll it's a bit brutal, but Yeah, it's usually one of those kind of you gotta hold your head to the side to make sure you don't get proper bruised ears, but that was good. Yeah. Smooth. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I think now is a good time to talk in this video about the new roller coaster being built here at Park Warner Madrid, which is of course Gotham City Escape, being manufactured or has been manufactured by Intamin. I've got a roller coaster database open on my phone, so just going to have a look at some of the stuff that it says on there. So, firstly, LSM launch coaster, which I think is pretty much obvious to everybody 64.6 miles per hour, four inversions duration of just under two minutes i am really excited for this roller coaster having been on velocicoaster recently i i just i see so many similarities in the two it's obviously got two very similar elements in the top hat and the zero g stall and also the launches as well and it just i think it's probably going to be the best new coaster that opens in europe next year i'm not saying it'll be the best coaster in europe just the best new coaster in europe I will be here on the opening day. As soon as that's announced, flights will be getting booked. I cannot wait to give it a go. If you're familiar with the Batman films, especially Batman and Robin from the late 90s, you may remember the Gotham City Museum from the Mr. Freeze scene with Batman and Robin chasing him around. Does Becca remember that? I do. You do, yeah? Yes. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. And yeah. that's what it's modeled after anyway. Yeah. Because Batman smashes through the roof. And then uh, Freeze tells him to freeze in hell. Yes. <laughs> One of the cheesiest films ever. It is. Yeah. Yeah, there's no denying that. It really is. I'm going to ask you, best Batman film in your opinion? Oh. <laughs> I can't remember which one's which. <laughs> what happens? <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> It's one of the recent ones, the well, the Affleck ones. Batman Superman. Or yeah, to Justice be fair, League. that's pretty decent. Batman Superman's. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. Let's go with that. Yeah. I was <laughs> gonna say who's the best Batman then? Affleck. Affleck. Yeah. Yeah. He's the right kind of moody anyway. Yeah. So he just fits so naturally into it. My favourite Batman film is actually you gotta surprise you maybe. Batman begins. Christy Bell's first Batman film. But I do think Ben Affleck has portrayed Batman as probably as well as anyone. Like Becca says, he's just got all the characteristics of Bruce Wayne. When people post pictures of Ben Affleck online, when the paparazzi are following him around, he looks like Bruce Wayne would in the comics. Oh, there was a big puddle there. Best Batman film for me, Batman Begins. Love the origin story. What's yours? Let us know in the comments below. And in your opinion, who's the best Batman? Really interested to see what everyone thinks about this. And don't say George Clooney, please. What do you think is George Clooney as Batman? No. <laughs> no. But Batnips. Even worse. 
There's just no need. <laughs> Unnecessary. Unnecessary bat nips. Yeah. Just the, the whole film's unnecessary, to be honest. Yeah, it was a bit cheesy. Yeah. Bane wasn't very good in that. No, that's true. As well as the roller coasters here, there's a lot of other attractions to do. The top spin is actually open at the minute, but nobody wants to do it, so it's looking very closed. Usually. It may be the middle of December, but there is a touch of Halloween here at Park Warner, and that is Passage del Terra, which is an upcharge attraction. I had a go of it in 2019, just before the Halloween season started that year, and I remember we all came out of there and we were like, not quite ready for the Halloween season. It, it scared us all quite a bit. I think I actually slept with the lights on in the hotel because it was, it was very, very, very jump scare heavy, so. Really do recommend it, especially if you're coming to Part Warner next year and you're into your Halloween stuff. Give it a go, it's usually only five euros, it's worth it. As well as rides and roller coasters for us big kids, there is the Cartoon Village here, Part Warner, which is a Looney Tunes themed area and uh, something we're thinking of bringing our little one to yes. next year, aren't we? Yeah, he'd love it. It's just, I mean, even I like this bit of the park because it's actually colourful. Yeah. <laughs> which a lot of parks these days are kind of lacking, but. There's a lot of fun stuff like um, a water play area, different different types of play areas, just smaller rides that the little kids really appreciate. So it's so very walk nice. Walk and talk. Yeah. So we've got the Tom and Jerry coaster, which we briefly mentioned earlier on. Yes. We've got the rapids in the, this area, which we're not even sure if they're open or I not. I doubt they will be. Yeah. I think they just close all the water rides in yeah. the winter here, which makes a lot of sense to be honest. Yeah, it does. And then there's a Cartoon Network shop. Yes. There's teacups. Yes. There's um, the Scooby Doo dart ride. Yeah, there's a little plane thing on the arm. You're not... Yeah. I've only briefly seen those. We've not, not been up that way yet. Yeah. So, so we'll, uh, we'll go and see what we can get on camera. Obviously, it's not yeah. something we're going to film much of when we haven't got little Charlie with us. No, no. But it is another very nice area of this theme park this in the summer is a massive fountain isn't it yes Ch chucks water everywhere doesn't it yeah it's great there's it's always full of kids playing around in it yeah but i don't blame them because it does get very very warm here so yeah definitely it's good for everyone that it's another ride over there that we, we'll go and have a look at in a minute but this here the cartoon cafe is exactly what it says in the tin really it is a cafe uh, i don't know if it's open right now but again, nice to see a theme park with actual catering in the children's area because normally that, yeah. well, it doesn't happen everywhere, does it? No, no, it's a bit strange that it kind of gets neglected. Yeah. Kids are hungry all of the time. Like we know. And they're picky. And when they want something, you're kind of stuck because you need to get it. Yeah. Where food's concerned anyway. Should we go and have a look and see if the rapids are open? I doubt yeah, it. Yeah, I but... don't think they will be because they're pretty... Wet those Moist. Well. So we got a little ride here. Yeah, that's what I was trying yeah. to say. That wouldn't look out of place at um, Thomas Land at Drayton, actually. Yeah, that's it's true. Fitting quite well. Yeah, it was. They've done quite well with a the Christmas theming. Yeah. I think that just about confirms that the rapids are, in fact, close. Are we disappointed? No. Absolutely, Absolutely not. not. No chance. No. Not they're, happening. They're a right old soaker, aren't they? Yes, they are. I mean, they're good, but not for December. No, absolutely not. So, just to confirm, if you are a first time visitor here next year, these rapids are well worth doing. 
but they are right at the back of the Looney Tunes area so they're quite difficult to find if you don't know where you're going yeah come and check them out the roller coaster behind me is Roadrunner Bip Bip or Corey Kimos Bip Bip uh, I've probably said that wrong it's uh, actually the newest roller coaster that's operating right now opened in 2009 and it's of course a cred we're not going to do it today but just thought I'd mention it's in the Cartoon Village as we approach the end of our day at Park Warner, we're going to have a look at some more merch. So Becca's going to take us on a bit of yes. a merch tour. I am. So uh, do you want to show us the Park Warner stuff? Yes. So we've got a lot of the very kind of simplistic, just their logo yeah. stuff going on, which is actually really nice. A lot of the materials, nice material. It's not, some parks feel very, very cheap in the way that they're made. But like the hoodies, they're very nice. Honestly, they're so soft and they're all just very nice on the inside. Two-tone ones, which I like. Got the mugs? Uh, we do. There's lots of mugs. Yeah, there is. Lots of options. They've got a, a good range of colours, because obviously this is all the pink stuff, but we've got grey, red, blue. You've got quite quite a good set of options for colour. Definitely. Color, which is quite often missing, because you often either just get black and white or pink or blue and nothing else in between yeah. so I think they've done quite well with that really definitely I've just Towels spotted a mug and down here as well oh yeah got those mugs and yeah. you get the black tops yeah long sleeve tops as well which I like yeah yeah they look very comfy so let's walk further around us yes we've got the 20th anniversary mugs as well yeah I can see one of them getting purchased when we come back tomorrow yeah. Of course, you've got your generic teddy bears, and then if we come round here, nice caps. yeah, they are good. So I don't remember them having anything like this last time we no, came in. No, I don't, because I'm sure this was all cartoon stuff yeah. last time. So we've got the grey tops. Rebecca was saying about, and you got the long sleeve ones, and then what I think is probably one of the best bits of theme park merch I've ever seen. Is jackets. you've got these embroidered Park Warner jackets, and they're not just in red; they're in blue and black as well. And they have zippy pockets, which is very, very important for theme park. Yeah. Top. Any pockets need to be zippy. Yeah. Even the white Again, ones are nice. Generic, but it works. It tells you what it is, where it's from. That's all you need it's sometimes. The these as well, and then. Not my kind of thing, but the sparkly cushion. But these, honestly, so tempted. It's 60 euros. I don't know how well this is focusing. It's 60 euros for these coats. I'm not really a coat person, but. No, but they are, they are nice. Yeah. And the logo's so well embroidered too. Yeah, it's gonna be one that I think about. Yes. And then, got the spooky Annabelle stuff next to another part one a cap they've definitely upped the game with merch compared to last time drawstring bags this is like when we used to do the walk around the pleasure beach shop they turn the music off for us yeah that's quite cool actually well thank you to the staff for that pennywise i could really scare my brother with them oh yeah we we'll just put one of them on Mitch's pillow. Yeah. Never speak to it. us again. <laughs> and then moving away from the generic stuff, we've got Gizmo. I'll uh, I'll get it out there. I don't know what these are from particularly. How could you not have seen the Gremlins? It's just everyone needs to comment and prove to Scott he needs to watch it. It's not got Batman, Superman, or James Bond in it. It's got Gizmo and it's got Gremlins. Hasn't got a red cape on though, has it? But it's got Gizmo. And that's enough. I'm not watching it. Everyone needs we will to watch comment it. and we force will him into watching it. We will end up watching it. We will. Absolutely. This is what happens and then I end up liking films. Yeah. <laughs> it does happen, doesn't yes. it? Blues Brothers, another example. Yeah. Back to the Future, another yes, example. It is. <laughs> yeah. I think most films I end up putting on that you end up just watching. Yeah. Isn't that what we do though, as men? We moan about what's on the telly and then we sit and watch it. I'm sure that's what we all do. No 
little oh, oh. books with uh, all the characters. Pablo. Oh, he's got a name change. Yeah, that's a... Uh... <laughs> oh, well, Betty's still Betty, at least. Pablo. I know, I'm confused. Well, it's definitely part Warner. Yes. Oh, there we go, we've got Batman. We've got Robin. And the Joker. Catwoman. There we go. A nice mix. And Pablo. <laughs> More of those embroidered coats. Santa hat if you need one. <laughs> if anyone's into friends, got the mugs. Bet that's something that you like, isn't it? Absolutely not. Not my thing at all. They've got a friend's photo experience thing as well yeah. up at the other end, but they've got a lot of friends merch, but yeah. it's just not for me. No. No. But a lot of people do love it. Something else I haven't watched. So we're in the next merch shop now, which is across from the merch shop we've just been filming in. Yes. This one is very much a DC themed one. Yep. And uh, we've got Wonder Woman. Wonder Jordan. Woman there. So restore the Snyderverse. But yeah, it's the, you've got these all through the shop. They are very, very well done. And again, like I said before, the Wonder Woman film films and her appearances in. Batman and Superman Justice League have clearly influenced things like this yes. because five, six, seven years ago here oh, there, was there was nothing, nothing for Wonder yeah. Woman. It was Batman, Superman, and that was it. Yeah. You got Green Lantern stuff in here too. This is like the big DC store. So some of it will be from what we saw earlier on. But if anyone needs a cape. You can get a cape, you need a hat, which you will need if you come here in the summer because it does get very hot with very little shade. Superman. Don't like this one, it's just a bit weird. I like the logo, I just don't like this. The cork. The cork, that's it. But again, a whole dedicated Wonder Woman section, which 2014 kind of time. You wouldn't have seen any of that. Green Lantern. More Wonder Woman. Ah, oh, that's a little cop. Yeah. Yeah. Again, something for the little ones. Yeah. Little pokey out straw. Now, the, the reason that I'm filming more DC merch is one, it'll stop me buying it. And secondly, because I wanted to show you these. Again, if you are a fan of Superman and Batman, there is nice nods to the Snyderverse, including stuff like this. They're a little bit worn out now, these. So if Part Warner are getting rid of them, let me know how much it will be to have them shipped over to England. Becca can pay for that. Oh, cheers. <laughs> so you got Batfleck. Henry Cavall. This one's in good nick still, actually. If uh, people who watch Pleasure Beach Experience didn't know that I liked Batman and Superman, they definitely they do, do after though, today. Yeah. You got more of these. Got a hero for the modern times. Somebody tell Warner Brothers that so we actually get a new Superman film. <laughs> Vest. Not for me, like. Not for me, like, but. No. Yeah, they've got something for everyone, really. There is, they? really is something for everyone in this shop. So we're not going to show you all the, the merch, but it's a nice cape. Feels like a Batman cape. Yeah, and it the, is proper done. And the Superman cape's all velvety and soft, yeah. isn't it? It's cool. Yeah, the, the, merch, the merch in the rest of the shop is very much like we showed you before in the other shop, but there's some extra bits. The strangest thing about Part Warner is they actually do merchandise better than Six Flags do for these characters. New Flash film out next year, obviously. Ezra Miller's a bit controversial, but the film is coming out, Becca. It is. Cool. <laughs> 
and that concludes our little merch tour, doesn't it? Yeah. Saviour the universe. We've come to the end of our day here at Park Warner Madrid. It's not quite right close, but we're knackered, aren't we? Yeah. Did a lot of travelling yesterday. So, uh, yeah, really good to be back. Becca, how have you found it here today? It's been really, really good. Yeah. I'm glad it's been quiet, but everything's been better than expected, I think. Yes, definitely. The rides are better than I remember, to yeah. be perfectly honest. It's a, it's a bit of a weird one because we were sort of laughing about it this morning yeah. before we got here, weren't we, saying, even though we really like this part, do we actually like any of the rides here <laughs> other than Superman and Batman? But we've actually had a really good day. Uh, for me, the highlight has just been getting back to this park, to be perfectly honest. It's just, it's got a nice atmosphere about it. Like we've said, the rides are better than I remember. It's good to see the characters like Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, all out and about, the Flash as well, interacting with everybody. What's your overall thoughts on Park Warner? I think it's really good. There just needs to be some attention to detail and a bit of a clean up in some areas. Yeah, definitely. Like the coasters, some of them could do with a bit, well, even a clean. Yeah, that is Superman start. looks very washed out. Yeah, it looks tired. Yeah, as well as it rides, it looks washed out and that station is awful. It stinks. So... It does stink in there, it really does. The problem is, in the summer, the birds get in there and they do poo on the trains. Yeah. And that's not like me just being rude they, no, it, it, it does happen yeah and it does have a bit of a like musty bird poo smell in yeah. there doesn't it and just like stuff like that is before they open the new coaster i just think they could do with going around and jet washing a bit yeah. of painting just a bit of tidying up new mm -hmm. signs and just tidying the park up but yeah. they do close soon i think for a couple of weeks before they reopen in february yeah so you reopen early Wow. next year but Port Ventura are doing the same they're both opening in February oh, I think right. I'm sure that these are opening in Feb as well mm. I think they are definitely competing now yeah for the obviously they always compete they're in the same country but it feels like they're proper competing with each yeah. other with these new coasters opening but yeah for me it's just I've always liked this park and I think I'm slightly biased really like my DC Comics stuff I mean I've got two Superman tattoos so I'm a massive fan of DC Comics overall, but especially Superman and Batman. So for me, I've got a bit of bias towards this part, but just in general, I really like it here. And I think I'm going to visit here more often at this time of the year when it's a lot quieter. Yeah. Because it doesn't have the best operations, let's be honest. Mm. But when the park is this quiet, it really doesn't matter. Yeah. It really doesn't. Yeah. So it's not an issue, but it's just something worth knowing. Hopefully, the, again, hopefully it's something they sort out for next year, but all in all really good park really enjoy it and i'm sure many of you will visit next year for the new coaster so please keep an eye out for our guide which will give lots of information about visiting this park and all useful information which we hope you'll find really helpful when you visit many thanks for watching and we will see you in the next pbe video